Uh, it's decent synergy with uh, like the usage of Doom and Devour slash Midas. So oh. you get a pretty good amount of GPM. Makes you tanky. They are going to go here. They do Mera. Cinder does have swap available. Going to bring him back towards safety, but they're chasing onto him. Ramsey's with the Omni Slash. Could look to make the move forward. Doesn't hasn't cast yet at the black hole though. Comes through on to three. The Poshka pulling this game back. That's four down all day. No jiggity. Aside from that one melee rack spot them. They've got a long time before Roche respawns and they are gonna move out. Smoke, Ramsey's in front, Moonlight Shadow as well. There is a gem. It's on Kezu, and he's in perfect position almost to reveal it, but not quite. Oh, can he turn this one to Blade Tree there? Kezu hanging on. Scandal up into oh. the front line, working on Cinder, and Cinder is going to get caught completely. There's no counter for this black hole. It's huge damage. Three are down. Might be more. Koikfa, can he turn it though? He might just be able to know the Omni found him. Koikfa has the E Blade. It doesn't seem to matter as Ramsey purges it. Mid Omni kills him off. That's four. Likely to be five. Yapsor controlled and slashed. And uh, likely dead to die here. Might be able to get KNR. A blink forward, trying to finish him off. Kill that snake man. Slash him down. They will do so. I think a gem on the deck here as well. A full five man wipe. Cinderin completely caught by the hole, and they just had no way at that point That's to the stop. Shadow it. Blade under the Moonlight Shadow. He goes, and he's going to take the free courier kill instead. Nice little double poke there, secures it. Oh, Cinderin, he's in pretty far here. He's going for the TP out, and that is. Simply not happening. Tries for the self-deny, also denied that as well, and we'll get the awarded. That could have been a freebie, but Cinder in a bit out of position. That was a little bit strange. Like, why was he running in that direction? That's my question. I mean, obviously he, he dropped the ward, but still. Uh-oh. No. No, this is not good for no diggity yet, or... I mean, it's one thing to lose Cinder in there. Not ideal, but two supports for a courier. Doesn't feel really that worth it. Grab yeah. says, not worth it at all. If there was like some big item on the courier, maybe it would have been okay. I guess it does delay the mechanism purchase on the Pushka. He's almost got enough money for it now. So, yeah, probably not at the end of the day. Uh, an overall worth for the courier versus the two kills. But it's not like Empire can turn around and kill Roshan or anything. Like that seems to be a consistent theme in the qualifiers, at least in the EU region, is the lineups outside of maybe like Ad Finim, they're not really good at killing Roche, so you have to wait for much longer periods of time before you start to see a team do that. Now oh, Kezu, he jumps directly into the entire enemy team, but there's a black hole here too! Oh, Cinder in there to oh. save them, but is it even a save? It might be too late! The damage is almost overwhelming, it's up to Era to turn this one, but they've instantly lost three. They're lucky not to lose four. They just TP'd in some chaos, and they get slaughtered. They also give Ramsey's the tower up to 1,700 gold. Era missing on the pounce now. Can they turn this? Malefice, he's dead too. It's four down. No diggity, throwing the lead away just like that. It's a 5,000 gold swing. What is going on? They're going to retreat out. All ultimates ready to go here for both sides. Full 5v5 clash. Who's going to get the jump? Scandal in first. He just flies right over oh. them. He's got the gem though, and now the hole. Who's there to cancel? And he caught Kezu too. This time he's got a BKB. This time there's no counterplay for Koikfa. Three dead. Make it four as Koikfa just ain't running from the Batman. That's four down. Empire absolutely merciless as they butcher all no diggity here as they stand in their wake. Oh. And the real action could break out. If Hill Ramsey's here, it'll be a dieback, but they've got to do it twice. Jump in from Era, working on him. Ramsey's just mantling and engaging, and they are going to last the arrow. They're pulling him back in. The black hole comes through, but from Matoshka, it's not really the best, but it's good enough. As Kezu hangs back, there's the double buyback. They need something for this. Black hole and pull down, but Spectre still having Aegis, and they're moving in. Arrow, straight on to Scandal. He's up in front. The gem carrier as well. Can they turn this? Spectre just marching forward, working on Yapsor, slicing away with that spectral dagger. Should be enough to get the kill. If I get it to one, it's going to be a dieback on your Marana, I do believe, out of the game for quite some time. But Ramsey's has the second life, and he's got a haunt. He pops it out. Oh. The back, the stun, the combo put in from Empire as they eviscerate. No diggity. They've hexed up Era to bring him down as well. It's five dead, and only a doom with a buyback, and there's the GG. So diggity, so close, so close, but so far away in the end. Empire really had their number. Felt like this could have been a 2-0. They had to scrap and claw to force the game three, and in game three, it was just Empire having the, their number almost every fight. Man, yeah. Yapsor, what a start it was, but he, they just couldn't close it out. The Spectre ended up being pretty integral to this victory. I would actually say if they did end up going with the Sven, it would have been the lesser of two evils.